It's about making other people excited to get into their kitchen and have some fun. Uh, this is from at Fry 1975. Okay. Do you find it more or less comfortable cooking at home, in the home kitchen, or on the, on the set? I am, like, technically more comfortable because I'm wearing sweatpants and slippers. Uh, I do find it a little bit strange because when I cook at work, I'm feeding my friends, the camera guys and our crew, and I'm feeding my fellow New Yorkers at the end of the week with our, our friends at City Harvest and Food Bank. And when I cook at work, it's about making other people excited to get into their kitchen and have some fun and be a little adventurous that day. When I cook at home, it's much different and I'm very quiet and I have a glass of wine in my hand and I, I scrub my face and I put my PJs on and we're listening to music or the gentle hum of maybe a law and order um, marathon in the background. But it's a, it's a much different process. It is very hard to let people into this part of our lives. This part of our lives has always been our private time. Uh, but it's it's also very lovely to be able to, to share that with people. It's just different. Everybody's life is different now though. Um, but we're grateful for it. We're really grateful that people come and visit with us. Thank you. That's from Diane Mimail Nomak. Okay, hi Di. I am also stuck at home preparing lesson plans with the hopes of going back to work soon and seeing my ki all my kids. Just me and our husband and our dog. Kids are grown up, their own kids. So my question is, other than cooking, how are you passing the time? Doing this. John and I have become a production studio, which is so funny because this, you know, I grew up in the Adirondacks, which is where we are. And this was always our hideout. Like we were happy that our cell phones worked terribly here and that we had very poor internet service. Um, and now we've had to kind of upgrade all that so that we can still all be together and think of a new way to communicate with people. So we've had to break down a lot of mental barriers about our, our fort in the woods kind of a thing. Um, but my daydream, if I have some days off during this process, uh, is to, well, first of all, there are found moments in every day. Whenever John plays the banjo for the dog, um, and when we dance around the living room in our socks and listen to some of John's playlists. But my daydream is um, to read some of the books that I bought at the Strand Bookstore, because I like to read real books, or that my friend Harlan Cobing gave me, some of his back titles that I haven't read yet. Um, so I wanna read. And my husband gave me uh, because I love to draw foodles, food doodles, with paint pens. I paint them with little paint pens. Um, he gave me a proper instructional set up, like the whole thing, um, of how to become a proper watercolor artist. So I'd like to do that. And of course, just being present with Izabu, because she's 15, and being across the street from my mom, and trying to be present for her and speak to her as much as possible.